Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Digital Dojos, and today I wanted to give you guys a cool Windows utility that you guys can check out. That's going to help you with backing up and making backup easier. Um, I saw this on one of my favorite blogs, LifeHacker.com. It's called Data Grab. Data Grab. What it allows you to do is target your partition and uh, back up only the data you want from each user profile instead of having to do like a whole disk image copy and stuff like that. Data Grab is going to get you specifically the stuff you want um, and put it, you know, back it up uh, specifically to where you want it to be. And um, this additionally, you can go into the live system, get IP settings, map drives, shared folders, installed printers that took, you know, the drivers for the installed printers, all that type of uh, stuff, making your next. So when you have to restore off the next drive, uh, makes it much easier um, and saves you a lot of time. You can read about the portable use, the usages, uh, system requirements, and license over here. Um, and you can grab it right here on data on the data grab website. He's made a couple of other utilities. This is one guy who's made a couple of uh, software for Windows, and he also recommends you use it with uh, a cool little utility. If you haven't heard of a uh, USC or uh, uninterruptible or unstoppable uh, copier, it's going to help a lot when with using data grab because unstoppable copier just kind of helps in you know when you're copying and backing up all those files you don't get those permission errors and stuff like that it, it obviously is an unstoppable copier it'll copy over all the files it needs to get system files included and all that so that's a useful utility to get as well you can get it over here at roadkill.net i'm gonna leave all links related in the blog post with this and the video description so you can check that out below all right so showing you data grab data grab right here first off you see it's a little uh you know, small application, but has a, a lot of, you know, panels and, you know, buns to kind of check off. Uh, so first off, you want to select the target drive. You want to select the drive you want to uh, get the data off of, whether it's an external drive or, you know, local drive installed on the computer. And you can go down here to set up your backup location. This could be, again, an external drive, uh, another drive installed in the computer, uh, even a USB drive if you're just copying a little, you know, small amounts of data, whatever it may be. You can add your date and then open it there and then, you know, choose your location to back it up to. Um, and up here, you have the roots of the, uh, you can hit, see, you can say uh, by default documents and settings will get everything. Or you can specifically check which one. You can go users. You can, you know, check the specific users on the system accounts, you know, public, uh, admin, and, and, you know, for my example, admin is Adrian. And from there, you can go to your user profiles and check everything you want. You can check whether you want your documents, your whole documents folder, which comes with these subfolders right here. Um, you can check documents, favorites, shared, saved games, downloads folder. You probably won't want your cookies or history, so you can uncheck those. And your app data, which is really important for like stuff like Firefox and stuff like that. So, you know, your add-ons, etc. And your, uh, you know, whatever, if you've had any, like, uh, what do you call that? Any mods installed for a specific application or anything like that, like Rain Meter, your themes will be in your app data and all that sort of stuff. Along with that, you can add additional folders. So if you made custom folders, like you don't keep all your documents near My Documents, you may keep it somewhere else, and you want to add that folder, you may do that as well. Um, now over here in Search Entire Partition, this will get miscellaneous documents in the root of their partition. And sometimes, somehow, some people do have their documents end up in the root of their partition. It's you know uh, how they do it. You know, nobody. It's not always uh, sure how they get them there, but you know, it's great that Data Grab just takes care of that and it looks there as well. Now, along with that, you can, if you're a little paranoid and you want all your Word documents and stuff like that, so what you can check these little things right here, or you can add a wildcard. So, for example, if I want to add a wildcard, I would put asterisk uh, dot txt, and it's going to search for all the text files on my partition, and it'll save them all in a specific file that says text files, or you know whatever other file extension you want to add or file mask they call it. Now what this will do, now let's say I have uh, let's say I have a Word document entitled YouTube.doc. Let's say I have that in my documents folder. Now with the user profiles, it's already gonna back up the YouTube.doc, but let's say I'm a little bit paranoid and I kinda want to make sure all my Word documents get a double backup. I can click MS Word right here like this, and it's gonna do a second backup of all the Word documents on my computer, including that YouTube.doc. So I'll have two copies of YouTube.doc. Um, one in the documents folder and one in a folder called MS Word documents. So if you're a little bit paranoid and you want to make sure you get all your documents saved and and you know organized in separate folders, you can do that as well. So a really really useful tool right there. Um, along with that, you can get local operating system settings. Like again, I mentioned that earlier, the map drives, the shared folders, and the installed printers. The current user, you can get stuff like your Internet Explorer settings if you use Internet Explorer, uh, certain configurations for your account and stuff like that. 
Um, you can also get stuff that's in the system 32, you know, like within the system itself, like mini dumps, the OS information, so like about Windows 7 and maybe like your RAM that's installed on the computer and all that stuff. Um, and uh, you can also have these little things right here that says places a copy of data store.exe in the backup folder with the client's data. So um, you're also it's also going to back up a copy of data grab on that uh, backup itself. So you're going to have a, uh, what do you call that? this program installed in that backup folder so when you get to your next computer you can put everything down and you can have data grab again just in case you ever need to back up again really quick retrieval uh, quick data retrieval tool for Windows uh, free and super easy to use but yet so so effective so check it out guys great Windows tip great Windows app I should say or utility anyways guys for more stuff like this head over to digitaldojos.com don't forget to thumbs up the video comment and subscribe guys and also, quick note, don't forget to check out our WinX DVD Platinum giveaway. I have 50 copies to give away, and I have some Mac editions as well. So stay tuned for that. Check out the annotation in this video, and you click that to watch the video and the rules. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And with that, I'll catch you guys next video.